it's that time of year when we start to get the phone calls and growers are asking what is going on in my field this is a great example this field is right at that transition into v3 to v4 we're moving from the seminal radical roots into the nodal roots and that is the time that we often see transition colors uh, slight differences in fertility soil types create some of those issues this is a great example as we look across this field here we start to see a dark green we see a lot of very very pale colored corn so what's going on as we take a closer look at this corn as I say we're in the v3 we have one two three full collars that are starting to show almost v3 um, and this is a time when we start to see color differences the plants that we see here we see a lot of intervenal chlorosis especially in the upper uh, portion of the plant the growing point most likely with this sandy soil we're looking at some sulfur deficiency this could be a result we've had some heavy rain through this part of the state this could be a result of that heavy rain pushing the sulfate ion out of the root zone and temporarily causing some sulfur deficiencies how do i know this is sulfur well typically if we look at a plant the lower leaves will tell us whether it's nitrogen nitrogen deficiencies will show up in these lower leaves first whereas sulfur deficiencies start to show up in the growing point and in the midsection of the plant as we look down the row we can see that it's pretty consistent across the, the whole field there are some areas where probably a little bit higher organic matter we're not seeing quite the discoloration the chlorotic uh, plant color and there's probably some residual sulfur there now the grower may or may not have used some sulfur in his starter and certainly that would be one way that we can help alleviate some of these uh, early symptoms of temporary sulfur deficiency just so happened that we have a part of the field where two different plantings took place this is a research trial and the corn here on the right is been treated with sulfur and you can see that the corn on the left is yellowing and chlorotic probably not treated with a starter application of sulfur makes a big difference and it's a huge driver in yield here's a close-up of the plants that were treated with sulfur in the row in the starter and you can see the contrast a nice uh, visual color no chlorosis and certainly these plants are going to really get ready and take off that concludes this pioneer growing point agronomy video podcast visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on twitter and facebook for more agronomy insights